gotta keep the devil down in the hole. Hey everybody, this is Dead Winter Dead with another Battlefield 4 video for you. Today we're going to be taking a look at the A91. This is going to be another butt naked review. These are uh, this is a series in which I take a weapon and I run it completely stripped down, absolutely no accessories except for maybe some cool guy paint. The A91 is an all kit weapon in Battlefield 4. As you can see, it is a bullpup designed weapon, and I really really enjoy this weapon. In Battlefield 3, I mostly ran it with the engineer class, believe. I I believe I don't I'm not sure if it was an all kit weapon in Battlefield 3, but Regardless, it is an all-kit weapon in Battlefield 4, so feel free to run it with whatever your preferred kit of choice is. Now, first things first, we're going to take a look at the iron sights. I actually find the iron sights on this weapon to be extremely usable. They're not, they're not too obtrusive. They don't take up a whole lot of the screen. But even if they did, there's just something about the design of these iron sights that make it really, really easy to use and fairly easy to put rounds on your target. Now, as far as stats go, we're going to be taking our information from simthick.com. The max damage is 25. The minimum damage is 15.4. Drop-off starts at 8 meters, and the drop-off ends around 50 meters. It has a really solid rate of fire with 800 rounds per minute. A muzzle velocity of 420 meters per second. If you suppress the weapon, the muzzle velocity drops down to a pretty weak 280 meters per second. Has a magazine size of 31. Reload times, if you are completely empty, again, that means if you fire the last round of your magazine and that bolt locks to the rear, will take you 3.3 seconds. If you still have a round left in the chamber, 2.7 seconds, so not much of a difference. It's a fairly, fairly decent reload. I've never really had too much trouble with the reload time on this weapon. Now, the thing about this weapon is it's excellent at close quarters. I find it to be incredibly, incredibly useful at close, close quarters. Even stripped down like this, it was, it was incredibly useful. I also found that it was fairly easy to hip fire as well. Something about it just felt right when I was hip firing, so I didn't really have an issue with that. Once I unlock the laser sight, I will probably put the laser sight on this so that I can continue to uh, improve my hip firing. Uh, most of you who have watched some of my past videos know that I'm not really a big hip fire guy. But for some reason in Battlefield 4, I'm really starting to take to it. And I think my play style has kind of evolved so that I'm a little bit more aggressive. And I tend to run in into situations where it might have been better for me to stand back. I still try to do it very tactically sound, but just I'm just a little bit more aggressive with it so it would make sense that I would have to sharpen my hip fire skills because when you take that split second to ADS, the enemy's already put two or three rounds down on you. Now this situation here is pretty funny, I have no idea how I made it out alive. I only had one uh, health left and <laughs> I was still able to manage to, to keep these guys at bay. But anyway guys, that was my butt naked review of the A91. I'm going to get some more attachments, bring you a proper review. My name is Dead Winter Dead. Thanks for watching.